just um, in Toti, basically, the area that I like to call Heart Attack Hill. I'm going to be taking my young daughter fishing and I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually catch fish. The target species that we're going to be looking for is going to be blacktail, stone bream. The trace that I like to use is basically a very simple trace. I'm going to take some Maxima, 7 kilo or 15 pounds. You can use a lot lighter, especially for the stone bream. 5.5 uh, kilo, 12 pound would be the ideal one. You want a soft, supple line. Basically to make the trace what we do is we take about a meter and a half of nylon. We double it. We do a double half inch. We give ourselves about 40 centimeters of nylon and we do another double half inch. So it's once twice it's basically a granny knot that we tie creating a figure of eight pull tight and we do another one just short of it one two and what we do is try and keep that one as close as possible so basically there's two knots over there take our scissors cut the one that's attached to the nylon off this is now going to be our sinker trace. We make it about 40 centimeters in length. We then take the top one where we made our first loop and just cut that off. That's going to be our hook snoot. And to attach it to our braid is as simple as this. We basically go through. We go through the nylon like so. pinch the braid this is eight pound braid and we wrap it around six times one two three four five six times and where we've pinched the braid between the braid and the nylon we just stick the tag end of our braid and we just pull tight very very slowly with only eight pound braid we can't put too much pressure on it and that's basically it so that would be our leader I'm going to take a mustard circle look fine gauge size six and I'm just going to snell it quickly Okay, so basically <clears throat> there's our leader attached, there's our sinker line, there's our circle hook. Grab a sinker, I'm going to use a one ounce, I try and keep it as light as possible for the stone bream. Okay. Yeah. okay, so there we go. There's the one ounce sinker attached. Cut that off. The bait that we're going to use, and I hope it's defrosted at the moment, are a couple of jinglies. Okay, now to hook the bait on is very simple. We just take one of our little jinglies, take the hook through the tail, like that, and that's basically how we're going to hook it. Okay, that's the bait done.
see that real point of sand? Why is that to go there? It's, it's, you see that rip going out? What we're looking for is that rip that's sucking out. That's what the fish like. They like that rip. That's where the food's getting sucked out. That's where the fish getting sucked out. species for the day <clears throat> what I want now is a nice big stone bream of about a kilo that would make the show very nice and entertaining especially on this ultralight stuff that I'm using using a 2000 crossfire with my little crossfire rod 8 pound braid and you can have a absolute ball catching small fish like this water temperature is extremely warm Get onto that rock. Onto that rock ledge. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Got him! Got him! Big fish to be caught, you 
can sit here and catch a little fish. Thanks guys. 